Hello and welcome to another episode of Fried Friends. Today I'm joined by my father. Hi. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we're both raging alcoholics. Is that safe to say? Yes. He didn't want to admit it for years, but he's finally broke the seal. No, I broke the seal. Do you feel That's comfortable it. saying okay, that? Yeah, I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, alcoholic. <laughs> nice to meet you, alcoholic. Thank you. When I first started calling him an alcoholic, how did you take that? Um, I hated you calling me an alcoholic. I, I know. really I defended it. It's quite a scary thing to admit. Yeah, really scary. It was my lifestyle. It's been my life. So so I didn't mm. want to admit I'm an alcoholic. What made you realise you were an alcoholic? Um, pissing in people's drawers, <laughs> pissing on my sister-in-law's coats. Um, so basically piss pissing on things? Yeah, pissing on things, yeah, just generally anywhere that would have my piss. <laughs> How many faces does that include? <laughs> knicker drawers. What about knicker drawers? What you... Well, I pissed in a couple of them. <laughs> No sniffing. No, no, no. No sniffing, just pissing. Just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I've got a confession to make. I think I might have pissed on Joey's head. <laughs> um, what? For the record, Joey's my mate and, and his mate. Yeah, so, Joey, I'm really sorry, mate. I, 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 I don't think it was me, but it's possible. Was Joey complicit in this? No, no, Joey was asleep on the couch at my house and he just <laughs> said, I woke up in the morning, my pillow was soaking wet and uh, we'd been drinking and... Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> you pissed on his pillow or his head? Well, he said my head was wet, but it, it was in the pillow. But I mean, it, I, I, I just... Maybe it was me, I don't remember. But if it was me, Joey, and it might have been me, possible, I'm very sorry. Joey, do you remember a night where you woke up with piss all over your head? I think when you get to that point of inebriation where you don't know what you're doing, obviously pissing is a, a side effect of the alcohol, isn't it? So now that you're sober, where do you piss now? In a toilet. <laughs> well, normally in a toilet. <laughs> When you say normally, there's still a case where you piss in knicker drawers, or is it? No, no, not at all. I've, I've, I'm Nicholas. I thought you were Mark. <laughs> You're right, Nicholas. You ever so, pissed the bed? No, it's always someone else's, and it's never mine. <laughs> yeah, man, if you're going to piss someone's bed, make sure it's somebody else's. It's <laughs> a no brainer. Right now, I want to ask you just I want one number, pluck it out of the air. All right. How many drinks do you think you've had in your life? Millions. How many drinks have you had in your life? Millions. Who do you think's had more drinks, me or you? You. I'm 26 years younger than you. Yeah, but I've, I I know your drinking habits, and my drinking habits were nowhere near like yours. Three bottles of wine tonight, six pints. Yeah, but that was later on in life. I gradually got to that point. When I was your age, I certainly wasn't. It's because you're a pussy. Well, no, I was doing ecstasy. I don't put that. Don't put that. No. Uncle Roy might be watching this and all my cousins. I don't hey, know. Hey, Uncle Roy. Hiya, mate. How's it going? He used to take drugs. No, I didn't. He still smokes weed. No, I don't. He still pisses in knicker drawers. No, I definitely don't. <laughs> he pissed on Joey's head. <laughs> I might have. So if I've had a million drinks and you've had a million drinks, how many units do you think that is? Three million units. <gasps> I don't know what it was. It's three, six, it's something anyway. You should look at that and put it up as a meme. Bing. I'm not a doctor, but three million units on the old liver don't sound very good. No, not at all. What health implications have you had from drinking? Probably the hangovers. You never used to get hangovers? No, but I had a permanent hangover. <laughs> I didn't know. No, seriously, I didn't know I weren't having hangovers until I stopped drinking. And then I realised I was in a permanent hangover. I used to get up, tired, go to work, tired, and then come home and go to sleep. And then get up again have a drink and go to sleep. I mean, driving, I mean, I could feel my eyes sort of like... <laughs> I used to bite my fingers and my knuckles. I've got a hard knuckle. Feel my knuckle. I'll feel your no, knuckle. No, feel my knuckle. I'll feel your right, knuckle. Feel the other, now feel the other ones. Ugh. That's my alcoholic knuckle cruncher. You have an alcoholic knuckle yeah, cruncher? Yeah, so if I'm feeling tired in the car after a day's work, I have the windows open and I bite my knuckle. You have an alcoholic knuckle cruncher? Yeah, it keeps me awake when I'm driving. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see that? Look, can you see where... I bite that and it keeps me awake. Or did, I don't need it anymore. How many people watching this with an alcohol problem have an alcoholic knuckle cruncher? Let us know in the comments. 
So that's one health implication, alcoholic knuckle cruncher. Anything else impacted your health? Yeah, gout. Same here. Gout. Gout. What causes it? Is it stout? Stout and gout. I think it, I think <laughs> it, <laughs> no, I think it used to be, um, what's the, what's, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember, mate. Yulcric acid or ultric acid yeah. or some bullshit like yeah. that. Anyway, he got gout when he was 60. I got gout when I was 34. If you're drinking that much alcohol, it's gonna have an effect. Some people just drop down from a heart attack. Some people get gout. Some people fuck their sister. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously that. Yeah, that can happen. People do crazy things when they're when they're uh, drunk. How's your cock work on alcohol? Uh, not very well, actually. Yeah, yeah. I love how polite. Like, yeah, not very well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never asked yeah. my dad how his cock works before. Well, well, no, that's the I mean, first. Yeah, well, no. I mean, it, that's a that is a known side effect, isn't it? It's a uh, floppy doppy, you know. I mean, you can't. Floppy dobby. You can't floppy dobby. You can't get you, you can't get one, can you? Floppy dobby. I've had a I've had a floppy droppy. Dobby. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Dobby. Dobby. <laughs> You watching this now, you probably experienced my floppy doppy. I want to apologise to you if you have. You want to apologise to well, me? Well, no, no one's... No, no, no. no. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> no. Well, because normally you're both drunk. Right? One falls asleep. Well, well, he got a floppy doppy too. <laughs> When women are drunk, they don't have no problems with floppy dobbies. Oh. When we're drunk, we get floppy dobby, we're getting shit. No, well, that's the way it works, isn't it? That's the way alcohol works on guys. How does alcohol work differently on girls? Well, girls don't have dicks, do they? Well, actually, that's not true, is it? Chicks don't normally have dicks, but, you know, the so ones you, it doesn't... The ones you, the ones you <laughs> fuck do. <dude. laughs> anyway, just... <laughs> oh. Oh God! Oh, right. Anyway, anyway, so moving what's... on swiftly. Yes, yeah, swiftly. floppy doppy. Floppy doppy. So we've got crunchy knuckle thingy. We've got gout. We've got floppy doppy. And I'm going to chuck in anxiety. I've suffered with anxiety for years, and I never linked it to my alcohol abuse. <laughs> 20 years of severe anxiety, 20 years of severe alcohol abuse, and it took me this fucking long to connect the dots. You know, when you go on a session and you, you, part of your hangover is you just, oh, you just feel rotten, you're anxious about everything. That's probably the worst part of it. What did I do last night? Yeah, drinking grabs you by the new news in the end. It's when you start going on the benders, that's when you know you've got a serious problem. And then you can't remember half of it anyway. I can't you know? remember half of my life. Well, exactly, yeah. I mean, there's a great part of my life missing. Just wish I could drink normally, you know. I go out, have a couple of beers, have a relaxing evening. Oh. But I can't, can you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Once I pop, I don't stop. If no. I have one pint, that pint is two pints. Two, four, six, eight. Next time I know, I'm, I'm, I'm half naked and I'm f***ing someone up against your barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. How did I not get a floppy doppy? Maybe she was good looking. <laughs> what are you implying? <laughs> Trouble is, all girls look good looking, don't they, when you've had a few drinks anyway? Oh, an apple pie looks good looking. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah, and I'm sure you stick your dick in a few of them. The Skipley makes wonderful cakes. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a pie. <laughs> get high and fuck a pie. <laughs> Please, we got to get out of the t-shirt. Get high and fuck a pie. <laughs> I need that on a t-shirt or, or, or some sort of merch. Watch this face. Yeah, wasn't it that bird that lived four down, the doors down and then she had a kid like nine months later? Was it that one? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it was that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, but it weren't my kid. Do you know how I know that? Oh. I've got a puppy doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, it wasn't Jerry's face here, but you. Oh no, I definitely weren't pissing on his head. <laughs> <laughs> if I f Jerry's face and you pissed on his head, he's not having a good time in Buffalo, is well, he? Well, exactly, yeah. That's yeah. why he won't talk to us anymore. Yeah, that's why yeah. he moved away. Yeah, hi, Jerry. What are you doing next week? <laughs> <laughs> we want to catch up. Yeah, can we go for a piss? <laughs> Just no, don't put that. How much money do you think you spent in total on alcohol? I know during my last few years of drinking, I was probably spending about 800 quid a month. I don't even get 800 quid a month. Yeah, but I was robbing people. <laughs> Not proud of that one. The thing is, one of your best qualities is your generosity. So when Dad used to go down the pub, he used to buy like everyone drinks. Okay, 1,600 quid a month. <laughs> 
even in a short space amount of time that I've quit drinking, I've started noticing I've been saving money. And that's only been 18 days. Today, I'm 18 days sober. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, man. How many days sober are you? Oh, um, almost uh, about a year and a half. If he had told me that back in the day, that he'd one day be a year and a half sober, would you even believe that? If no, I told not you at all. No. no, absolutely no. not, mate. There's not a chance in a million years I thought I'd ever stop drinking. No, me neither. Like, we can both say it now. Like, I'm going to say it. Like, I'm an alcoholic. Can you say yeah, it? Yeah, I'm an alcoholic. I'm a raving I'm a alcoholic. raving alcoholic. Raving alcoholic. <laughs> raving. You used to get raging when I called you an alcoholic. Yeah, I did, yeah. I was really pissed off with you. It was my lifestyle. You are dissing my lifestyle. Don't diss my drinking. I did back in the day, and then I just thought, f it, I can't be asked to diss his drinking, so I just joined in. <laughs> yeah, and it took over. Yeah, now we're sitting here just like, what the f have we been doing for the last 20 years? Floppy Dobby. <laughs> So the reason I quit drinking is because I've got a problem with my throat. I basically burnt it all through this thing called silent reflux over years and years of drinking and eating kebabs and just living like crap. So now I can't swallow properly and it's driving me insane. I also started getting gout, which was the reason that prompted you to stop drinking. Yeah, definitely. So we both quit because of health related issues. And then due to that, we've begun to realize life feels better without the booze. Yeah, definitely. Well, Mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It takes a while, um, you know, when you first give up drinking, you feel boring, you don't want to do anything, you don't want to be around people that drink. I find it really difficult being around drunk people because one, I want to join in, it makes me cluck. <laughs> And two, I find drunk people annoying now when I'm sober. It's just like, shut up, mate. <laughs> now I've been sober, I just prefer hanging out with me cats. <laughs> it's the clarity, though. Don't you feel that? The clarity of mind that you yeah. actually have. I can think. Exactly. My brain's working. Yeah. It's like I've had my brain turned off for 20 years. And that's why I fried everything. The reason I fried my entire life up is alcohol. Yeah, definitely. I've made some terrible decisions when I've been drunk. The biggest mistake I've ever made was starting. Oh, mate, that's... That's deep. Yeah, well, that was deep, yeah. I That's mean, because I think if I hadn't have had alcohol in my life at a younger age, I would have achieved a lot more. You know, my main aim in life was to drink. Where would I be in my life if I didn't start drinking? Exactly. Where would you be? Where would you be? And where can you be if you stop drinking? You can be some somewhere, man. And you can do something, because when you're under the influence of alcohol, even though you think you're having a good time, you're not doing anything constructive. You're just getting drunk. And you can have fun without getting battered. How? Well, by finding yourself. But that's not fun, that's like... No, no, but it is actually. Is because, it? Yeah, because I've not really known myself for the last 30 odd years. Now I've stopped drinking, I've started to have the time to think about who I am. Who are you? I don't know. I'm still finding out. <laughs> but it... <laughs> You still don't know. A year and a half, he still ain't worked it out. I was permanently under the influence of alcohol. I never gave it time to come out of my system. I never got my brain back. And that's the deal. It's trying to find you again. What are you without alcohol? And that's the thing. It's about having a personality. It's about trying to do things that you've never attempted before because you've always been battered. I had my first ever sober birthday in 20 years yesterday. Today is the day after my birthday and I'm not hungover. What? the hell is that? Yeah, I'm proud of you, mate. I mean, that's a big deal. My first Christmas was one of the hardest things, going through Christmas. I was smashed on Christmas last year and you were sober. Yeah, exactly. Was that annoying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> When I get drunk, there's only the options of go to sleep, have a kebab, or take class A drugs. One of them options is a must. There's no other option than one of those options, and I usually go for... Alcohol. What? What? <laughs> that wasn't even one of the options. <laughs> Well, what other options you got in class A's? So uh, what? <laughs> what? What are you on about? Oh, I just meant when I'm drinking, there's three options of where I could go. And oh, then, and then I went. I gave you the three options. I said, what? What one do I? You feel I go to? You just went alcohol. So stupid things I've done when I've drunk. I pissed down my ex girlfriend's stairs. I had sex at my dad's barbecue. My mum started smacking me round the head when Iceland got knocked out the Euros. I turned up at my mum's house with my trousers round my ankles. I crawled under a kebab bar. I took mum's Hoover for a walk. I fell in a river and almost drowned. There's a video on my channel about that. I locked myself in a strange.
stranger's front porch. I'm going to be making a video about that. Watch it when it's made and subscribe so you're ready. I'm pretty sure I was drunk when I joined the Mormons. Do you think you're going to drink it? Well, I'd like, to, I'd like to think I can have the odd pint here and there. You don't think you'll slip into it? That's the problem, isn't it? Once you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic. And, and until you take that first drink again, you don't know. Well, I I'm always going to love the sesh. I love you so much, sesh. Problem is, you don't love me back. The sesh hates me, but I just love you, sesh. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you can't join in with people having a sesh. To me, it does. To me, it does. Really? Yeah. You know when the room turns all lizardy? You're in a room full of people spangled. Their eyes are going, wah, 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 and there's like some geezers crawling on the ceiling over there. If you walked into that sober. Yeah, it doesn't have the same appeal, does it, really? But, mate, I couldn't think of anything worse. So let's start to wrap up this video now. I'd like you to join me by saying goodbye to these guys with uh, having a shot. A shot yeah. of... Cheers. <laughs> Mineral water. <laughs> Lovely. Mineral water. <laughs> what mm. you say, like? Yeah, we, we have shots of water now. We're f***ing cool. Yeah. Oh, man, that's giving me a right high. <laughs> what are you going to say? A hard on? <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually does. <laughs> does it? It's not alcohol, is it? <laughs> no more floppy dubbies. Hey! Hey! Subscribe, share. Yeah. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.